Welcome to video number 23, Calibrating the Extruder. In this video we are going to repeat the process from the previous video so that we can get our extruder motor set to the right step rate. So first things first we need to get back inside Pronterface and go ahead and set our hot end temperature to the right temperature so that we can go ahead and start extruding the filament. And as you can see, I already had my hot end heated up so that we wouldn't have to wait. And I'm checking my temperature. So we're gonna do the same thing that we did in the last video in that we're gonna take our tape measure and our Sharpie, we're gonna mark 100 millimeters on the filament measuring from the very top of the extruder body. So we're gonna put a nice little mark on there right at 10 centimeters or 100 millimeters. And just like we moved our X axis and our Z and our Y, we are going to extrude exactly 100 millimeters with impronter face. So make sure that you have it set. And we're gonna click extrude. And now our gears are turning. And if our step rate is accurate, then our little black line should, should meet flush exactly with the top of the extruder body. Now for the sake of this video, I purposely went back into the configuration.h file and I changed the value for the extruder step rate so that it would be a little off. And I, I made it a little bit lower so that it would not travel as far as it needs to. So our black line isn't going to actually reach the extruder body. And I did this on purpose so that we could have an example of having to go into the configuration and change this value for future reference. So as you can see, it fell short and we're opening up the marlin.ino. We're navigating back to the configuration.h file. And we're gonna go back down to the default axis steps. Now actually ignore this first screen. I left that open so I could remember the correct value, but that's not the one. That's the one, okay. As you can see, I, I lowered it down from 455 to 440. That's why it didn't travel as much as it needs to. So that fourth value, that represents the extruder motor. So I'm changing it back to 455. And remember, we have to close Pronter Face in order to be able to upload our edited firmware. And so we've, we've got it going, but that's the gist of it. I changed it back from 440 to 455. And once we get that uploaded, we're going to reopen Pronter Face, uh, immediately reset our temperature because we don't want to lose our heat after building it up.
So with our edited firmware, we're repeating the same process. I made another mark and once again I'm going to extrude a hundred millimeters of filament and this time even if it's not dead on it should be a lot closer and you may have to go back in and even change it a little bit in fact I might even have to change it a little bit as well but this should put us a little bit closer and now we understand how to go back in and edit that value So all in all, it was pretty close. It was definitely closer than the first time. So with the X, Y, Z, and now the extruder all calibrated, now we can move on to the nozzle height. <laughs> 